Hi, I'm Robert Ferris. I'm the aftermarket parts manager here at OCV Control Valve. Today I'm going to go into the 1340 pressure reducing pilot and show you how to put in your rubber goods kit. The contents of the rubber parts kit for the 1340 reducing pilot include the schematic drawing for the pilot, which identifies the parts and where they are located on the pilot. The rubber goods inside includes two diaphragm plate O-rings, a stem O-ring, an adapter O-ring, a plug O-ring, a diaphragm, a seat disc, and a seal washer. First thing is to isolate the valve, shutting off all water pressure. Then loosen the flare nuts on top of the tube to relieve pressure from the valve. Now that the water pressure has been relieved, you're ready to install the 1340 Pilot Rubber Goods Kit. First take the black cover off the pilot, loosen the jam nut on the adjusting screw, and back out the adjusting screw enough to take the tension off the spring. Now you're ready to remove the four cap screws that hold the pilot bonnet on the pilot. When you remove the pilot bonnet, you'll find a spring with two brass or stainless steel spring retainers on both ends of the spring. Now you will loosen the nut on the back side of the pilot and remove it. This nut has an O-ring which will be replaced by an O-ring in the kit. Using a 7 16th inch socket and a 7 16th inch box end wrench, remove the nut that holds the diaphragm. Then remove the pilot diaphragm with the two plates on each side. Remove the stem that holds the diaphragm. The stem contains the seat disc which will be replaced by holding the stem with a wrench and with a 7 16th inch box end wrench remove the cap screw. You have the seat disc and a seal washer. The o-ring, the seat disc and the seal washer will all be replaced with new parts from the rubber goods kit. After you have replaced the o-ring, put the seal washer on the cap screw and slide on the seat disc with the rubber portion facing the stem. Before you install your stem back into the pilot, use your finger to inspect the seat making sure there is no corrosion or debris. Insert the stem back into the pilot. Put a diaphragm plate on the stem. Put a new o-ring from the kit onto the stem. Put the diaphragm on. Put another o-ring on the stem. Put the second diaphragm plate back. Put the lock washer on. Put the jam nut on. And you're ready to tighten the unit. Put the spring with the two spring retainers inside the bonnet. Put the bonnet with the spring inside back onto the body. Then tighten the four screws to secure it in place. Once you've replaced the O-ring on the plug with a new one from the kit, put the plug back into place and tighten the nut. Tighten the adjusting screw to where it was before. Bleed the air off the valve before you tighten the flare nut, then tighten it and the pilot and valve are ready to be put back into operation.